Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share my Psalm vlog, which is Psalm 36. How precious is your steadfast love! Transgression speaks to the wicked deep in his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes, that his iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth and trouble and deceit, he has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O oh God, extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast you save, O oh Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O oh God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. And you gave them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light do we see light. Oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright of heart. Let not the foot of arrogance come upon me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the evil doors lie fallen. They are trussed down unable to rise. Psalm 36, 1 to 12. Transgression refers to presumptuous sin. To transgress is to choose to intentionally disobey. Transgression is willful trespassing. Iniquity is more deeply rooted. Iniquity refers to a premeditated choice. To commit iniquity is to continue without repentance. When we confess and repent our sins, we are recipients of God's steadfast love, which is so precious. We can only be able to walk in the light with such kind, with, with such a kind of unconditional love. Adoration. Praise be to a God whose love is steadfast and endures forever. Confession. Forgive us all our transgressions and iniquities, my Lord and my God. Thanksgiving. Thank you for your faithful and unconditional love. Supplication. May all men seek God so that they can continually live in the light. Reflection. How is focusing on God's steadfast love a weapon from wickedness? It's amazing um, how when, like, you know, I'm, I'm a photographer and I'm, I'm also a painter. But in photography, when the camera is out of focus, everything is blurred, right? So it's important that we focus properly the camera so that we will be able to get the subject matter very clear. The same way how we view God, if we have lenses that blocks us from really seeing God the way He is, then we're missing the point. Um, in other words, even in, in painting, we, we need to be able to bring the subject matter clear and focus on the actual point, the focal point of the subject matter, the same way with God. So when we focus on the steadfast love of God, we are able to cling and hold on to the promises that He has given us. We are able to see that um, we were able to see beyond our issues, beyond our problems, beyond our weaknesses, beyond our sins, beyond our iniquities, beyond our transgressions. So when we hold on to this love, this unconditional love, this faithful, unconditional, unwavering, uh, infinite love of God, it becomes a weapon for um, any form of evil that will that want to plague us, that want to to shoot at us. 
So when we continue to, um, to dwell in His steadfast love, we become strong, we become mighty, we become um, um, unwavering in our faith. We, become, we, we, we are able to take authority over whatever the enemy is doing to us. So that is how precious our, His steadfast love is for us. And if we continue to abide in Him um, regularly, then we will be able to see this steadfast love because since we were made in His own image in Genesis 1.27, that says, so we can also have that kind of love to give others, to be steadfast in our love, to be faithful, to endure, to, um, to unconditionally uh, connect with others and help each other. So I encourage you to focus on the steadfast love of God because when you do that, you'll be victorious. There is nothing that you cannot conquer because God is a God of the impossible. God is a God of might. God is a God of strength. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs and a copy of this um, sound blog and I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we'll be able to I'll be able to do more videos to glorify the Lord. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much and so do I.